<laughs> God. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm always in denial. <laughs> that was a very, very specific description. <laughs> <laughs> Manage your channel directly from your phone. No. <laughs> it says if I don't do that daily. Man. You know what I should do? Mm. I should have like different bit level notifications, like different different levels of laughter. Oh. <laughs> and like yeah. the highest one is just the crazy laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should totally do that. <laughs> We just escalate in insanity. Oh. <laughs> I just see a rotating object. It's a frog. <laughs> <laughs> the frogs. That's all my frog emojis. <laughs> you have many frogs. <laughs> Hello, Shy. Hello, Soren. And yes, I should do that. <laughs> By Gundam. I miss Hi, Gundam. Gundam. <laughs> so when I first like put everyone at the bottom of the screen, right? Mm -hmm. I like put everyone's name in normally, and then I just put Bacula for Byakuya. <laughs> <laughs> Bacula. <laughs> <laughs> and then everything just goes normally upward. And then you get up here and it says Byakuya but fat. <laughs> I guess we can change the name to the name of that now. It's fine. Imposter. <laughs> Imposter. God. Never have I been more happy to hear something like that. Holobacula. <laughs> Count Bacula. I think that's something Jill calls him. Bacula. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe it was actually Toko. I can't remember which one. It sounds more like Jill, though. <laughs> you know what I want more information on? Mm -hmm. Why Jill is dead in the alternate ending? <laughs> yeah, how did she die? <laughs> what happened? Just, just a photo. I love that image. <laughs> so... I, I said Jill, Toko. <laughs> See, I'm so used to Jill. Like, I like Jill, and I don't <laughs> like Toko. <laughs> Toko is something. Jill is something else. <laughs> yeah. Byakuya ate her. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's why he got so fat! Slurp! <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Zed's not here, I can belch. <laughs> Zed was the one thing keeping you from doing it. Yes. <laughs> noted. N noted. No, noted. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mm. Service today sure are something. Yeah. Mark folder is red. <laughs> I pretend I do not see it. Noted. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, when I said it, it sounded like a D. 
How would you rate your Spain? Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only city in Spain I can think of, so I don't have a different answer. <laughs> Beanie, are you ready? Oh, wait, no, no. What's Hello. the name of that city in Spain that was used for the skybox in uh, <laughs> yeah. Wet Dry World? <laughs> That's where my Spain is. <laughs> the aura. The negative aura the negative in aura. Wet Dry World. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thanks. Oh, thank you for following. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Gundam. Need to oil this chair. I forgot the music was very low. <laughs> you don't have to be that low music, I'm sorry. <laughs> Instead of playing this actual trial, we just play Magical Miracle Girl Monomy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> what are the other two modes? Island mode and something. Uh, I don't know what the other one is. What extras do we have? The Mono Mono Yashin! <laughs> can play the Yashin from the menu. <laughs> Every copy of Danganronpa 2 is personalized. Tiki- WHAT?! <laughs> Big secrets. Oh yeah, that is in here. Danganronpa if. You require what? Serotonin. I'm sorry, you <laughs> will not find any here. <laughs> We're going Fear. to trial prep, boys. <laughs> Man. Man. <laughs> Must resist the urge. <laughs> Instead, fuck this. <laughs> no. Oh, I can't combine it with that one. That's fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. Away from the mic. Sad boy times. Lost in my thoughts. Bing bong. Bong bing. Bing bong. Bing bing bong bong. No, they cannot. Lost in my thoughts, but the sound font is the, <laughs> is the body announcement jingle. <laughs> Rip your free times. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'd rather have the silencer. It's more fun and exciting that way. Also, someone has has redeemed. The, a hydrate was redeemed, and I didn't even notice it. <laughs> so, I need to grab a water. I will hydrate. To hydrate. I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't need both skills. I live life dangerously. The whole squad, me and my dead friends and Chiaki. <laughs> And Pekko almost completed, <laughs> but will never be. 
Hi. I'm just musing about my dead friends. Yeah. Eric is attacking Circle. <laughs> we sure did try to fill out Pecos. It was not meant to be. Are we ready, gang? Nope. I don't need both skills. They disappoint me. Does a sick move. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Honey, you got a big storm coming. Can we get a calm to one last time? <laughs> what makes you think this is the last calm to you're gonna get? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I had to sell it. <laughs> he... He's not on the right side of the screen, though. He needs to be on his side. Calm down. <laughs> Heart. <laughs> F's in chat for Nagito. Let's go. <laughs> Can Kamda be here the whole trial? <laughs> no! <laughs> Kamda isn't allowed. You're lucky Kamda's allowed to begin with! Just keep him in the corner. <laughs> F. Match is over. <laughs> Kamda is now illegal. <laughs> Kamda dies, but it, instead of like a large spear, it's like a little spear. <laughs> like a little toy. <laughs> he steps on it. <laughs> Like a Lego and fucking dies. Like a fork. <laughs> a toothpick. It's a drink umbrella. <laughs> Let's get in here. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, Hi, Hajime. you will present your <laughs> arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Man, that half of the courtroom is very dead, isn't it? <laughs> I voted, yeah. Hajime is alone. Hajime is alone. <laughs> Well, I certainly hope none of you can hear the dog that's wailing in the background. Mm-hmm. Monami is not taking your shit today. <laughs> if I see Nagito's picture, I'll cry. <laughs> one Apparently they cannot hear dogs, so it's okay. Good. Chesto, like the berry from Pokemon? Please stop. I feel bad for Monomi. You're right. Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monomi. The class trial has started after all. Monomi is us after Kamda discovery. time is Nagito, who is attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. No, that might not be it. Huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Comandio. Comandio. <laughs> Don't tell me you're the traitor. That would say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. That is a lie. <laughs> Don't show his picture. It's gonna. <laughs> traitor and the killer who murdered Nagito is here, right? Are they the same person? Or... No, Nagito's. Gundam's portrait, though, is just a giant X. <laughs> like, a stylized X. <laughs> Look at it. Incredible. And this twice. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. 
What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, the suspect is whoever found the bomb first. That was Fuyuhiko. I, I, I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Why did the killer have to torture Nagito? No. Were the wounds on Nagito's body really caused by torture in the first place? There were many bullets. God. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, the Based on Hajime's hint, it's definitely found the bomb first. something against that being tortured. <laughs> I, I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Okay. Against being tortured. We have a lot of them. Oh, hello. <laughs> we'll just go through the bullets. Hello, Zed. This sure is the worst one by far. Yeah, it's really brutal. <laughs> Tape, that's his mouth. <laughs> he do be looking <laughs> fucked up. Was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared. Mm. Of course you are. How'd you may fight for your boyfriend's <laughs> justice? <laughs> Ah, yes, because the tape couldn't have been applied after. About that. <laughs> like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. I can't back down! Dueling. How'd you make dick bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the swords. Whew, that was close, you guys. Thanks to me, you guys didn't get caught in the trap. Is it still duct tape? To tape Nagito's mouth after getting information from him? True, that sounds reasonable. But that clearly contradicts the truth. Like he was moving his mouth under the tape. If he had listened to me until the very end, I wouldn't have to go to the trouble of repeating myself. Duct tape. <laughs> Pay attention, this is how it went down. I just have to decide which weak point. Then, after they killed him, they this one. This shot. one? Yeah. Fuck. Okay, after they killed him. Crap. Get fucked, cats. This is how it went down. First, the killer torch and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after yeah. they killed him, allow me to cut through those words. God, I love it when he says that. <laughs> no, 
There's no doubt Akito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. Beat up. Beat up. <laughs> That's an understatement. What did you say? Who cares about the duct tape? Might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. Allow to cuck through those words. Peak anime. Yeah, the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Allow me to cut through those words. I do. <laughs> Are you in elementary school or something? <laughs> you were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? You were literally there, so I don't know how you decided that wasn't the truth. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, excuse me. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. Oh, hi, Nagito. Yeah, that was what I was reacting to. <laughs> and the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Stab wounds, beat up. <laughs> Perhaps the duct tape was used so we wouldn't be able to scream. And it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. Extra creepy. <laughs> However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Circle does. He's the killer. <laughs> um, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? If so, freaking crazy. Did they go psycho or something? No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Mm -hmm. The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? I can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? The killer had a deep grudge against Nagito. <laughs> Lashes. <laughs> My name, <laughs> uh huh, Jeff. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Your name, Jeff. Okay. Your name, Jeff. Did I have a new cursed? <laughs> no, it's just. <laughs> it's just him. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> He's so small. Your name, Jeff. No, that one. <laughs> I know I watched you do that. No, that one. <laughs> I love my boy. Thank you, Zed. Bring him back. <laughs> Alright, we can bring back <laughs> that Mondo if you wish. <laughs> Michael Jordan <laughs> No Alright, here he is <laughs> Man, these cursed images just get weirder and weirder <laughs> <laughs> Moncina, <laughs> Michael Jordan, Nagito's killer, <laughs> Great Gozu looks insane, Egg. <laughs> Egg. Egg. Duncan Rumpa 4 looking good so far. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you satisfied? He hasn't hatched yet. Be nice to him. <laughs> He's still growing. Oh god, no neck was still there the whole time. No neck was hiding, <laughs> lying in wait. He said he wanted original cursed images. <laughs> yeah, from right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means, it is possible to think that nobody here set Nekomaru the fire. was so big. 
Especially next to Chiaki. Yeah. I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? Like what? Petition but for all thumbnails to be cursed that, images. But that has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonia. You have such an amazingly high Nagito's life. picture, he who he he who who no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love her. Nice. Reason for the fire, huh? All right, we need to clear that up first. <laughs> he really is shy. <laughs> Nagito's portrait, there it goes. <laughs> the direct cause of the fire was... The oil liner found at the crime scene, right? The killer used some kind of setup. I have a feeling panels is gonna be our bullet. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Or perhaps opening the door caused yep. intense wind pressure to tip over the lighter. So we're going to use panels. The direct cause of the fire was. And we're going to shoot it at the, the first thing Sonia says at the end. The killer used something with the curtain on fire. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil? They probably just based on the shape of that oil. It can stand upright while the If they tipped over the oil, could have ignited it. Some way? Maybe they used it. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound. Or perhaps opening the door. I agree with that. He agrees with that. But only that. <laughs> I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. I saw something in the chat I wanted to. <gasps> To see. Honestly, I thought I was overreacting when I remembered I hated Kazuichi. <laughs> I like Kazuichi, but he do be <laughs> way too simping way too much and it's easy to dunk on him. I don't like Kazuichi. <laughs> <laughs> Highlighted my message. Consent! Consent! <laughs> Consent! Agreement. Sonia is so cute. She is. I love Sonia. No, not wind pressure. They probably use the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? They're dead. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Glorious Japan. I read Monokuma pants. <laughs> Just a single line. The Monokuma pants fell over. <laughs> those monokuma panels to create the domino effect. A domino effect? You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? X. <laughs> In place of those tiles, the killer used the monokuma panels. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. I like the big shape of Nagito there. It's really good. <laughs> but wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? Yeah, that's, that's how I feel. Hello, Nagito. <laughs> Hello, Nagito. <laughs> Hello, Nagito. <laughs> The killer did one other thing to hide the domino effect. Oh, I'll look to the left, Ikibans. 
This game is like Murder Blues Clues. <laughs> Murder Blues Clues. What else did they done, dude? I don't like Teru Teru either. <laughs> His initial character is only Booba, yes. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I was distracted by the dog. One other thing to hide the domino effect. Loud music. MP3 player. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. You're talking about the MP3 player, right? Bark, bark, bark. That him blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound Booba of and PP. <laughs> Very cool chat. Man. Hearing that at the time would have made this much more ominous. I can't believe you turned that down. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. Clatter, clatter, clatter. It's not opening. Something blocking the door. Ah, so the door was being blocked by a monocula panel. Should not have been that heavy. When we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. You don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? With the blocked doorway, there wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. If that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. I see. So the problem Chiaki's talking about is... The killer couldn't have left. I see! If the panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened, no fucking merch. Inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Now that you mention it. Does that mean they were hiding inside? Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. Based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. Huh? You don't mean. But if that's true, this murder. Um, Hajime? What do you mean? The person who set up the domino effect inside the warehouse. There's only one person who could have done that. Not you, though. I'm also in big Spain, Soren. He's the victim, you know. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Huh? Not just the victim? What does that mean? He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? Don't be stupid. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are, are you saying those were all self-inflicted? But Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? That's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? 
Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, you're right. Ye yeah, as long as you understand. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Like he said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but... I feel like I'm overlooking something. Like him burning a piece of rope and attaching it to his hand that he would then use to tie the rest of his limbs. Burn rope. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. <laughs> It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? What? A dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? Our assumption that Nagito committed suicide is correct. Nagito should have tied himself up, too. Hmm. That's okay, right? Yeah, show me the bullets again. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! Tying just the legs is one thing, but... You want to look at the description? The yeah. Torture wounds, okay. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Yeah, I understand, Sora. Yeah. Dirty joke. Is Take, off. Dirty joke? <laughs> Take off. Take <laughs> off. I don't know. It seems like the more I do this, the worse I get at it. <laughs> Just said she loves Fruit Loops. <laughs> impossible if you were by yourself. By yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? I don't know what to do. Dirty oh. joke. Is that a dirty joke? Yeah, it is pretty shocking. Shoot, burn rope at what Fuyuhiko says near the end. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with a free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. No. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. Well, you it's good that I clarified which one you wanted. <laughs> to actually tie up, that's obvious. Tying just a lift, tying both arms. You couldn't do much. With it. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth or if you use your dirty joke? Is that a Me dirty taking joke? 20 years to hit it. <laughs> to that was my fault. Obvious. Tying just a lift, tying both arms. You couldn't do much with a free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. What? Okay. Oh, 
<laughs> you got called a dumbass. Okay, I guess it's not for Okay, the bullets. Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. There's also Monokuma plushie and Monokuma panels. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? We'll let's see how the Monokuma plushie or panels would have anything. Sorry, texting my mom. Mm -hmm. I would like to uh, tag you in. Hydrate, also. Oh. <sighs> okay. Are you fucking kidding me? Hydrate your brain for maximum efficiency. <laughs> Why did you have to change when I looked up? Proof that the burnt rope on Nagito's right arm is a trap. He has a right sleeve. I see. Take a close look at his right sleeve. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, that should be the case. Kajune, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. Okada, you should not give it away for free. Make sure they pay you first. That's definitely wrong. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? You can afford it. I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. I mean, he, and he paid Monokuma a million dollars to <laughs> <laughs> for a shitty sticker. <laughs> She tried to charge me. Now she wants the money back? What the heck? Wait, did he actually give it to her? <laughs> in your right hand using only your right hand. Stand the knife up and slap it. It's okay. There's definitely an answer for this. Monokuma plushie? Monokuma plushie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that gonna be it? 
<laughs> oh no, I just wanted to click it. Nagito could only use his right hand to stab himself in the palm, then how did he do it? He used the body kuma plushie. <laughs> Is that your answer? That's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There's no fucking way this is gonna be right. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you want to do it to? Uh, what Chiaki said? Yep. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Congregation, says Soren. <laughs> oh, they are in fact big Fruit Loops. Incredible. I got sent a picture. <laughs> oh, big Fruit Loop. Those are large. They are big. <laughs> This whole trial is just ignore Monokuma. <laughs> Didn't you literally do the same thing earlier? <laughs> Getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen in Nagito. If that's true, how is that possible? He can't grab the spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Then he probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. Oh, hi! Hi! I'm in pain! pain. <laughs> I was gonna ask you what you want to do for dinner, because I was just gonna eat my leftovers. I don't know, you can have whatever you want. Okay. I did not expect to walk into that. Yeah. Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Oh, Kazuichi. Uh, one more time. Hey, Casper, you better cut it out. Like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. So you're saying it's impossible. <laughs> it was hanging from the ceiling. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. I also agree with that. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty, I could never believe that. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? I'm waiting that's for a package to be delivered, that's why I'm looking at my phone so much. <laughs> Said. We've 
trade over and over again so far. So, this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. Nobody hated Nagito more than Nagito Monokuma. <laughs> it's true. Among us. Of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. Huh? I feel that there's... some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. What kind of way? I don't know. You don't know. It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it. Together. I know exactly how. That's how. We made it this far up till now. Everyone he had the spear thrown up over the beam and was holding on to the other end, which is why it's not covered in blood. And why his left hand is also somewhat not covered in blood. Then he let it go and it fell. She's right. We've made it through several ordeals up till now by doing that. Then, even now. Alright, let's do this. Figure it out, Hajime. Chiaki, you're starting to sound a bit like Nagito. Someone gotta continue his legacy. She's been sounding like him the whole game, to be honest. She's just nicer about it. <laughs> Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, right? He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. Then that rules out his left hand. Mm -mm. That's okay. the case. The only other way is he used his teeth, or maybe he used his front tail. Idol guys have tails that get hard when they're crap. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm watching this Sony is freaking awesome. Nagito committed suicide. Then he must have used that spear to stab himself. Even if his arms and legs were tied up, there's no doubt he used some part of his body. The only thing he could have used is... It's his left hand. So shoot left hand at a... Blood on left hand. Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, right? He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. Got it before the noise could hit anywhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool of them to talk about that during the trial for Nagito's brutal murder. <laughs> Absolutely. Very cool of them. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? Yeah, Chiaki's very good. But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? Like non-existent? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? Look, there's blood on the back of his hand. 
around the metal joints of his fingers. Like you said, this looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? What was Nagito's left hand doing when the blood splattered? Gripping. I see. When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Was he grabbing his front tail? Oh my god. Here's the thought. He was obviously grabbing the spear. Now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. Chat, can you all chill? <laughs> Right, hey, that's Chuck, the problem. Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle, just like fixing an old TV. What's that mean? Oh, I got it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, like I thought, it's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. Which section of the spear was he holding on to? The cord. The shaft. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. It was the shaft. <laughs> there was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were bloodstains on that part too. Shaft. <laughs> The joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. Is it the size of that cut off section? About the same size as a human fist? If you hit a broken machine with a wrench, oh, it gets fixed right. its basic size. This is the part <laughs> was gripping, huh? And then the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? You're not gonna say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around, and stabbed himself, right? That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Nagito is gripping the cord extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. But from there, how would he stab himself in the stomach with the spear? Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have hmm. tea time? Hmm. At a time like this. How about we stick to but plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once. Him, Chiaki. <laughs> That's a long plan name. But <laughs> What does that mean? Um, Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. How it was positioned. Nagito was facing up and the spear was stabbed through his stomach. So if it's just before that. That's it. Could it be? The state of the spear and the fact that Nagito was holding the tip of the cord attachment. If I put those together and think about it, I should be able to figure out where the spear was and what state it was in before it stabbed Nagito. What are we doing? Logic diving. Okay. <laughs> Logic dive. Let 
feel like we're solving this one really fast. Curveball, are we going to be thrown? Or was the spear just before it impaled well, Nagito? Above Nagito. Above him. Above. Above. The next question going to be which way was it facing? <laughs> I feel like that's pretty obvious. Whoa, moving diamonds! <laughs> Whoa. You mean the Chaos Emeralds? <laughs> I'm going to assume you mean the Chaos Emeralds. Oh my god, did you see that? That was incredible. Besides the spear, what else was above him? A ceiling girder. A stuffed plushie. <laughs> <laughs> How many sides does a spear have? Oh. Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Go ahead, you man. <laughs> They're all just twiddling their thumbs. <laughs> what item connects both the spear and the ceiling girder? The spear's cord. Surfs up. <laughs> Go on. The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. It must have been perpendicular to him just before that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Latches. <laughs> Suicide 
is all executed. That's why he stabbed himself over and over again. Did he want us to die that bad? That's messed up. That's seriously so messed up. Yeah, that's our night. Jeez, I was starting to feel a little sympathetic toward him. How stupid of me. I completely underestimated his capacity for malice. A mind-boggling malice that threatens us even after he's died. That's the form his malice took. I had forgotten all about it until now. If he was here now, he'd probably be sneering at me. do not understand. You said he would reveal the traitor, right? Whatever became of that? He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. So why did he not just do that in the first place? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. No, Nagito, you silly goose stabbing yourself again. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. He tried to make us doubt each other. He tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusion to plant here. It's not that unthinkable. Men. Man, my classmates. <laughs> really thinking that little. Understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but why do I feel so uneasy about it? Is it because we don't know who the traitor is, or? So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? What do you think, Connie? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. You are right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. Then it's okay to end it here, huh? That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's okay to reach such a happy ending, right? Happy ending? Then it's okay? It's okay to say... You've decided on the killer? Understood. Then voting time. No, hold on a sec. <laughs> but, uh, hold on. Why? Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. Like who the traitor is? But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. Huh? No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. What do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? There's just one thing that doesn't make sense, and it relates to Nagito's death. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Something related to Nagito's death, and it's something he couldn't have messed with. Here, I thought we were finally finished. 
It's something related to Nagito's death. A piece of evidence that even he couldn't mess with. Go back to the ball. Clicked a button. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I was trying to hit this button. Oh, okay. Something. Hit you... that button again. What button? The button that brought the text up. Something Nagito couldn't mess with. Couldn't mess with. Anything that wasn't affected by Nagito. Well. <laughs> That would be all the accounts, but scroll up. Would it be the Monacua file? The suspicious part of the Monokuma file that Chiaki is worried about is... What is it? What's hidden in the Monokuma file? It's a hangman's gambit! <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> oh my god! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Are the last two words of death, cause of death, My ooh! Fuck! My ooh! There's so many! Yeah. Nagito is a hell of a drug. Um, excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> Give me the F. H. The D. Okay, can y'all fuck off? Thank you. May I have a tea? Bitch. Alright. But can you spell cause of death? Hajime <laughs> dies trying to spell. <laughs> In this particular case of Monokuma file, there's no specific cause of death. Sure isn't. <laughs> it just lists a bunch of wounds. Isn't that weird? Until now, the files always specified the cause of death. But the cause of death is obvious, is it not? The spear in Nagito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it. Hajime just keels over all of a sudden. <laughs> It just dies in the middle of the trial. Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write. Body has been discovered. <laughs> well, Monokuma, I plead the fifth. The fifth. There he goes again. Fifth. I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say. We're not in America. The Fifth Amendment doesn't apply. Recon's <laughs> case. The thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file 
was always the most important mystery in the case. Killed by his disorganized thoughts. <laughs> what are you saying? That applies this time too? Cause of death important. Oh, hold on a sec. Then are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? Mm-hmm. Are you suggesting again that his death wasn't a suicide? <laughs> You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place. No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide, but... But, it's not just a suicide. Is it an assisted suicide? Come to think of it. Uh -huh. Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? Are you sticking up for him? That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. For example, would that malice just end here? Huh? Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about, no? How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. What do you mean friendship? They're boyfriends. <laughs> what should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the boat? I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. You're right. We only get one chance to vote, after all. I'm glad that that's making you feel slightly better, Soren, actually. <laughs> Guess I have no choice. That's the case. I better go along with it. This is pretty good. I am twisting and squishing the hell out of a squishy toy that was on the desk. <laughs> hey, Monokuma. You heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait. We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be all right. That's what I believe. Oh, Splendid. You guys are so splendid right now. That's right. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you, huh? How did I think about it? Nagito said the same thing. The absolute hope that can overcome any despair. He said he was yearning for that. Then, the situation we're in might be the thing that Nagito wanted all along. No, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. Suspended. <laughs> no, no. Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought the voting time was gonna start, but. Hey! <laughs> well, if you think about it rationally, there's no way it was gonna happen. We haven't done this bit yet. Most of the players probably figured that out, too. You're the only one who didn't know. Man, Monica would call me out like that. Isn't that right, Monami? Hey, how much longer are you planning to sulk? Let's get along like we always do. Alright, you passed. Friendship is measured by how long you can stand the silence when you're all alone with someone else. So, Monami and I are the bestest of best friends. Don't say such stupid things. I, I hate you so much right now. Enough! Why do I have to be hated that much? Besides the fact that you snap at me like that, I don't trust you at all. Not even a teensy tiny one millimeter bit. How sad. Distrusting your friend is much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know. We aren't even friends in the first place. Then as your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother! It's sad to live a life without friendship. That's even sadder than watching a high school rom-com full of guys. 
Well, there may be some demands for that. I fell for it. I totally took the man bait. Man bait? Man bait. <laughs> Save game. A high school rom-com full of dudes. Come on, Monokuma. There's absolutely a demand for that. I'm gonna take a potty break. Then stop saying. I'm done hearing your voice. The demand is me, says Soren. <laughs> Please deliver my my package, please. Sorry, that was a typo. Rom-com full of guys? What he meant was rom-com full of gays. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now that's what I want. <laughs> hey, Rodin! Don't say things like that, please! You think it's funny, but I don't. I don't. I genuinely don't. Oh, there's a twist ahead. Thank you. Actually, that it's, that's not okay. That's not okay. <laughs> what is it with being so cavalier about spoilers? <laughs> Jeez. The situation is this. If I don't know it, it's a spoiler. That's it. Yes, exactly, Zed. That's exactly where I'm coming from. You get me. Like... No matter how small it is, I'm going to read into it. I'm going to read into it so hard that I'm probably going to guess correctly what the spoiler is. So... <laughs> Don't underestimate my ability to read too far into shit. <laughs>
Yeah, that's it. Like, I don't know. If there's something that is about to occur, I want all the emotional impact to be intact. And it won't be intact if I know something is coming. <laughs> Y'all good in here? Same wavelength. Yeah. We're just talking about uh, what constitutes as a spoiler. Hmm. Yeah, guy, I know what that's like. All too well, I know what that's like. Did I tell the story about The Walking Dead already? I'm pretty sure I did. I was just reading chat. <laughs> We're caught up now. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Everyone is united against despair. Everyone is united against despair. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. We need a cursed image, yeah. I'm gonna fight too. I sure need a cursed image. Monami, can you fight the urge to speak? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like very like sorry if I'm very very quiet right now. <laughs> Have ball Kazuichi. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm really anxious. That's all. Ball Kazuichi. <laughs> Why? Why he like this? <laughs> <laughs> what if you were what if you wanted to go to heaven but then God said ball Kazuishi <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> God I had a I had the plot or I, I had the big thing in a Star Wars episode 7 spoiled for me the night before I was supposed to see it. So that was... That was splendid. Mm -hmm. I'm still mad that I got something spoiled for me about this. It didn't change the impact in it. Uh, have we gotten there yet? No. Oh. But I will tell you when we do. Okay. Soren says the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. I was spoiled too about it. Yeah, but you weren't supposed to look on my blog. <laughs> That's your fault. Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Well, if he stabbed himself in the thigh, there's a giant artery there. <laughs> if something other than the spear killed Nagito, all I can think of is a knife stabbed into his hand, but... That was definitely a gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal one, don't you think? Hmm. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds... Hmm. Are we finished already? I feel like it's possible that we overlooked something. Overlooked, huh? Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We should cooperate at a time like this. Mm. Fatal wound that wasn't the spear. We don't even know if it actually exists, but if it does. We need to find out what it is, no matter what. What? The poison. 
<laughs> the poison. What? The poison. The poison, he says. <laughs> it wasn't a trap. Dead in the eye and said the poison. <laughs> Show me the bullets. Maybe he simply bled to death. Yeah. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? If it's something that can't be seen, maybe he choked himself with a sleeper hole. Okay, highlight the poison. Or liquefied his guts with a body blow. Just thinking about it, that's already a horrible death. And we're gonna agree with Sonya. Something unseen. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand. Man, I lost a lot of health during the gambit. It's not the other wound. Yeah. <laughs> with all those wounds. Hajime thinks himself thinks so hard that he just dies. <laughs> There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? I agree with that. Fwidge. Ah oh, yes, the poison. The special poison. <laughs> the poison specifically to kill Nagito. Nagito's poison. <laughs> I remember when Circle said he's getting worse. He knew the answer to that before we even got to the to the non-stop debate. <laughs> Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Hello. I have my moments. <laughs> That's a poison made specifically for killing. I see. Now that you mention it. There's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If, if poison was a cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What is medicine. That? Medicine. But even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were full, so how would he drink poison? His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. If it was a slow-acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. They just chug the poison like the Akria. The on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. <laughs> then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. It was on the tape. And this is when the hard tail appears! You're totally overvaluing that tail! His mouth was covered with duct tape. If he wanted to drink poison, how would he get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Byakuya took a sip, Nagito chugged. <laughs> it's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there any left? Hajime, no, you have a noggin. No how you slice it, it was totally cute. <laughs> <laughs> Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method. The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe. The way the poison entered Nagito's body. The answer is written on the warning label? I should think carefully and try to remember. <laughs> Gordon, I'm tired, says Soren. <laughs> Gordon, I'm scared. <laughs> Every time I imagine Hajime dying, I imagine him dying like a G-Mod character. 
just violently rag dolls. <laughs> I wanted to read that, but it was very difficult while doing the logic dive. <laughs> oh god, I hate this. I imagine him dying in Half-Life 1, violently exploding. <laughs> <laughs> what state was the poison in when it affected Nagito? Wait, <clears throat> can I read the, the label? No. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> Just thinking about the label, I think it was gas. Oh, oh God, <laughs> please. Oh God. No, <laughs> please let me adjust my glasses. <laughs> Hajime. No, true blind run. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Oh God, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> there it is. It finally happened, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's deliberate now. <laughs> Let's just go over here where we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> How did the poison enter Nagito's body? Through his nose. <clears throat> Inhales the poison aggressively. <laughs> Go, how'd you may go? You did it. Oh, that's it? <laughs> yep. It's all coming together. <laughs> Rainbow Road got nothing on this. <laughs> what if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. Inhale my dong and rage my child. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a long time. What Inhale. the hell? I don't even remember what that is. Five nights at fuckboys. Uh. <laughs> Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose! Expand dong. That poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? The reason we didn't breathe in the poisonous gas should be able to explain that mystery too. The Monokuma Merch! <laughs> the Monokuma Merch! The uh the fire? The smoke? The sprinklers, all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all reasons we couldn't enter the warehouse. <laughs> And I don't really want to choose the wrong one and risk us uh, going any further dead. <laughs> the sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. Because, yeah. Hajime in this image is really good. <laughs> look at look at his fucking arm. <laughs> He looks exceptionally thick in that one. <laughs> Not super thick, but thicker. It's susceptible to hydrolysis. Oh. Of course, hydrolysis. The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the Hydrate. Okie dokie. Tiki skin <laughs> What does that mean? So it probably didn't affect us. Wouter. Wouter. Thick. Listen. Water. I like Hajime. Maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Yeah. The true cause of Nagito's death was poisoning. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but 
So what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Did it up already! Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. The true. All right. All the mysteries should be solved now. You should get on with the voting time, right? Oh, well, but what? There's still more? I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nagito's motive is still unclear. Did he commit suicide just so he could kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? I feel like it was the opposite. <laughs> Really? Okay. Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Nagito's motive. Nagito's malice. Is this really okay? Can we really finish this here? No, that can't be. There might have been an accomplice. Huh? Chiaki! What did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. If Nagito really brought poison to the warehouse, then the thing that would have been left behind is... The meat on the bone! The meat on the bone! <laughs> it comes back! <laughs> yes! <laughs> the container. The meat on the bone! <laughs> on the meat bone! <laughs> meat on the bone. This is my answer. Leave me alone! <laughs> No. Yeah, that was written on the warning label. The bone on meat. <laughs> Keep <this is> the container. <laughs> the container probably melted in the fire. It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it completely incinerate. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Does that mean someone got rid of the container? So that's why you mentioned an accomplice. Th that is impossible. I mean, an accomplice? It is just too... Like, does that really matter all that much? I mean, even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Ah, oh, you're right. You're totally right. That's totally it. Yeah, you're right. right. We just want to find the easy solution so we can leave. Yet. Except we'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone's tired. Tired of doubting everyone else. I... I also feel that way. That's why I want to rule this... Just rule this as Nagito's suicide. If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt. But... That's no good. Huh? That's no I good. I feel like <laughs> Nagito is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito's suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. If Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hoax. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? How'd you base to like friends? <laughs> Be 
You know him so well. I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. Oh well, no. Oh no. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. Just guys fine, being dudes. Okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. <laughs> Is this feeling just now? Even though it was brief, it was like a strong flash of light running through the back of my head. <sighs> Hajime. <laughs> Maybe. That's the gay. What a con I said just now might be a new clue. <laughs> From there, I might be able to reach the answer. <laughs> the way Nagito brought the poison, which means the thing he used as a container was. Hangman's Gambit. <laughs> Fire grenade. Oh my god. Please. We're going to die here. No, we're not. It don't bite. <laughs> Get over there. Oh my god. No! My E! That's a lot of E. E. Oh, okay. That's cool. Thank you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mm. No. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> D. <laughs> D. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I need this E! Please! E! <laughs> <laughs> that was so close. No, I will never use the focus meter just because you said so. I refuse to use the focus meter. Fire grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. Secretly taken away by someone. Every time you tell me to do something, I will do the Instead, opposite. It, was it just makes me stronger. <laughs> as long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Why you? Because you're Zed. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a real reason. Which means, did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? Uh, that is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say alone room? Yep, yep. Hey. Yep, yep, yep. If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. 
Seriously? That's impossible. Miss Sonia just said so right now. Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a Don't you mean paper? <laughs> <laughs> Sonia's words contain a clue that the contents of a fire grenade were swapped with the poison. A piece of blue paper. Paper. I can prove it with this. The aluminum paper. <laughs> Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. Oh, and I don't talk no, about Nagito that way. <laughs> He's dead, man. Come on. <laughs> Someone edit that frame of Fuyuhiko saying it's trash, but put Kamde there. <laughs> Nagito describes himself. That's just a piece of trash. <laughs> When he put the poison inside the fire grenade? Aluminum. <laughs> this is a real ass photograph, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a real photograph of a mask and gloves. <laughs> He's the, He's the jailer. <laughs> That's what I said last stream, you're correct. Yep, yep, yep. Bark, bark, yep, yep. Ow! The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. You, you're right. Ow! In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Uh, yeah. Is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. J Jockey? I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So why was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? It probably happened at the same time. The moment the fire grenades were brought and the moment Nagito breathed in the poison were the same? Could that same moment be? When we threw all the grenades. I see! Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah. Oh, woo. I think so. oh the dog. When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed. Someone please take care of their dog. <laughs> Your dog is crying. If that is true. And the person who brought the poison and spread it was one of us. What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? Uh, hold on a sec. The Nagito was what it mean. He didn't kill himself. What the heck? You said so yourself! You said Nagito committed suicide! Then who killed Nagito? You mean, he's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Huh? The person who prepared the poison fire grenade was... <laughs> I'm not sure what you're asking, Hajime. <laughs> Me neither. Like, if Nagito was the one who did it, the stuff was in his cottage, it has to be him. I see. It was Nagito. Monokuma. We just 
discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? The person who set the warehouse fire was. Well, technically, the person who set the fire was Akane. <laughs> One of you. One of us. <laughs> None of us could have set the fire. I got I set the fire, you coward! <laughs> Nagito. The answer is Nagito to all of these. <laughs> just... The answers are Nagito. Hey, how many times are you going to ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. You made a low effort. <laughs> Mew. Okay, so I'm glad. I will look. Why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? Why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? The reason Nagi set, Nagito set the warehouse on fire? To make someone throw the poison. I see! I see! I see! Don't tell me, eh? He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? <laughs> he set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? It's trash! <laughs> like <a> trap? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Soren. I love that. reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. Seriously, I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Huh? Could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito, Nagito laughing further to do. Nagito laughing. And for that reason. He put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. What? What the hell? That's my boy. He sure did. He set a trap to force someone to kill him. Maximum. That would be real. I had this spoiled for me three weeks ago. Oh, did you really? <laughs> Who did this? I don't remember, and I don't care to remember. Because in that moment, I saw red. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. It wasn't like a direct spoiler. But it was enough of a hint toward it that I'll ascertain. I didn't want to believe. Hold on. If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death. It might be the poison's fault they let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so. The poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! My son committed suicide while trying to take down everyone else with him. So proud. Yeah. That sucks, though. Yeah. I thought they were just screwing around. It was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. Or maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know. They said something that insinuated this, and I gathered, wow, that may be a possibility that happens. They didn't directly say that this happened, though. that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However... He also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces. For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up. It is my fault. 
Because I told you all about the fire grenades. I... I am so sorry. Please vote me as a killer. That's not the fucking issue here. It's not M Miss Sonia's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. But what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. It's impossible? Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? That's right! There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras! If Monokuma doesn't know, this trial doesn't count! Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times! I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya. And one of those visits seemed to take a while. <laughs> Please stop! I will never become clean! How can you be so chill? I mean, how can you have such an awful power? Awful. So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is! Sonya yes, poops. She can it. never be queen. <laughs> how the hell are we supposed to do that? Giving up all we can do? No, it's too early to give up. She can shit if she is wants. Way to out who the she is? was harnessing the power of Nekomaru. <laughs> Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably. There's one way, I think. Really? Hey, is it alright if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? I want to make sure my hunch is correct. Hatime, please. That's right. It doesn't mean the trial is over yet. Even though I don't know who killed Nagito, it should be clear what kind of trap he set. Then I have to do it. Even if it leads to despair. Someone please God, take care of your dog. Sad. Please take care of the dog. It is driving me insane. <laughs> anyway, closing argument featuring Nagito. What was inside Nagito's refrigerator? Poison. Right before switching the poison. What's placed inside the break room? What's beyond the Monokuma panel? A lighter. I'll just put this oil lighter here. <laughs> <laughs> His whole body wasn't tied up. His arm. How did he support the spear? Oh, there. I'll grab the spear cord with my left hand. This is my favorite panel. The one in my hand right now. It's my favorite panel from this. Or one of them. In order to hurt himself. Well, we don't have that one. Nagito propped up the knife with something. Don't have the plush either. The reason we went to the warehouse was... The screen. The Nagito message. He looks so extremely evil there, he does. It's over here. Over here is inside the throne fire grenade was. Yeah, we don't have that yet. What made the sphere fall? Maybe him letting go. Mm -hmm. It's too far back, I think. Perhaps not. Perhaps so. Placed inside the room. That's a lot of fire. There's a lot of fire grenades. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of fire grenades here. All right. I guess. Do we place that there? I don't know. Do you want to? Sure. Nobody still. 
also like this panel right here. This closing argument's really good because lots of Nagito. <laughs> what did it hurt himself? Still don't have that panel. Yeah. What panel do we do? Not a bomb, it's fireworks. Putting the duct tape over my mouth. And the spears dangling. Well. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. Hmm. So do we just not use the duct tape panel? Okay, let's, let's keep going. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> the duct tape panel goes there, I guess. He was chronically ill, I imagine he might have been used to it. Yeah, the pain. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, it's Monikuma's front tail. <laughs> <laughs> Take right. off the seal. Whole body wasn't tied up. Prop the knife. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. All right, we can put that where his entire body isn't tied up. Poison goes in the top panel there. Last stock. He lets go. Oops, I let go of the cord. Oops. Oops. <laughs> he was dead, then the spear fell because he wasn't holding the cord anymore. There we go. The poison. actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Oops, I let go of the cord. <laughs> which he brought with him from the octagon. Shut. Using the That's a good panel, too. That he got from the yeah. military base. I'm biased though. <laughs> P. 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 Eel. P. Eel. <laughs> when he did that, a specific item was left as evidence: the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. I felt really awful during this trial when I first played it. I spent the whole game hating him, and then I saw he did all this to himself. Yeah. He did all of this to himself. Nagito finished making the poison fire grenade, took it with him to the factory. <laughs> hey, Hajime, I want to see my P.E. <laughs> and went back with the rest of the grenades in the breaker. He. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. I like how they're all shrouded as like the killer. Mm -hmm. I love that. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. <laughs> In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the monitor. He <laughs> yes, the he the door <laughs> to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. <laughs> From there, Nagato set his insane plan in motion. Insane? Are you insane like me, been in pain like me? <laughs> First, he hung the spear that he took from the <laughs> I'm laughing the ceiling girder by its hole. Of pain. <laughs> what if he had fucked up the dominoes? <laughs> That'd be just his luck, wouldn't it? <laughs> Are you in Spain like me? <laughs> In 
In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. My man's has appeared. <gasps> the man's. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up just beneath the dangling mm -hmm. spear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this was just the Tape. beginning of Nagato's plan. And then he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape. And after making sure he was unable to scream, he done stabbed himself a lot. <laughs> he stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Done. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. It's so bad. <laughs> Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. I'm like aggressively squishing this toy. <laughs> Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushy factory and found Nagato's message. Wait, who's that? Hold? Who's message, hold? We instantly made our way to the warehouse. I like to think it's Hajime and Chiaki. Yeah, me too. inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. My son's really smart. He's just like that. <laughs> the panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. Yeah, it's crazy. The poison sank to the floor. I hear you, Shai. ...due to the intense heat and spread everywhere. Gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. My man's hitting that vape something different. Bubble haze! we might we cannot reach that truth that, that was not into his trap, trap. <laughs> what <laughs> in conclusion the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity it's the picture from the banner <laughs> at the last moment this should be the truth behind nagito's trap how about it chiaki Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um, Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? He. <laughs> you say we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? Huh? He said this to us earlier. It's 
going to be fine. Everything will work out in the end. There's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope that can break through any despair. Not only that, I believe in you all, and I believe in the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. Are we gonna hangman's game with the word hope? What Nagito believed in. Hajime Hinata. <laughs> <laughs> His talent. I see. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. After all the time, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. Sorry for the squishy sound. <laughs> I'm just. But in his case, yeah, we'll get it. Pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. It wasn't life threatening at all. Russian roulette. It's a game where you load a fuck. But that's how you're supposed to play it. Would have been fine. Misunderstood. He only had a 1-6 chance. The only thing good about me is how lucky I am. Did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old skill school building. At the old school building? The old building near the hotel. <laughs> I can't read. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. I just trusted my luck. Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but I was. Luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought it was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. Guns aren't dangerous when you're lucky. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. No, there's no way. I mean, I said this is Nagito we're talking about. What did he do? No, he wasn't just after anybody. Also, this a cursed a image. Target. A target he was after this, along. this thing a happens. Set up as the killer. A target. Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student and incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck. He believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean he left his plan to luck? He did a meow? Good. That? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? No, I don't even have to ask. I should already know what the answer is. The traitor. I see. The traitor. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then... What he said in his video message... Oh yeah, he was totally bluffing. <laughs> true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. Then it's just as Nagito said at the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believed in what Nagito said, we would have reached the answer much quicker. The reason this took so damn long, was it really because we didn't believe in him? 
The reason it took so long is because Kazuichi didn't come forward. <laughs> oh, he got his water dirty. It means he wants us to beat the traitor. I'll manifest that cursed image <laughs> while we're hither. Actually, you know what? While you manifest this cursed image, I'm going to go pee. Okay, say hi to the dog. Fuck. This dog has been whining for almost three hours. <laughs> Y'all. Here's the image you ordered. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for this poor dog. They are just whining very loudly. So like not only am I aggressively like squishing this toy for that, I'm doing it for this trial, I'm doing it for everything. I'm very anxious right now. <laughs> Akanokuma, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fusion dance. <laughs> Can you share my very dumb meme too? Yeah, I'll go get that. <laughs> I'm just very brain overwhelmed with all noise. <laughs> Manifest the meme, I will. Okay, I just want to clarify something because I feel like I should. Uh -huh. I, I don't want... The wrong idea of what I said a bit ago. Uh-huh. I did not have Nagito's death spoiled for me. Mm -hmm. I had his plan spoiled for me. Mm -hmm. I had the fact that he was... I, I had the fact that he tried to get someone to kill him mm -hmm. spoiled for me. That is what was spoiled. Mm -hmm. I 100% believed that he was going to survive. Mm -hmm. I, the impact of him dying was in no way diminished. <laughs> I only had the fact that he was setting someone up to kill him spoiled for me. Mm -hmm. This is courtesy of Soren. <laughs> Incredible. Justin Wood. <laughs> Great meme. What's behind it, the circle? Huh? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> That's yeah. cool. Chat, chat feels you. Yeah, so it... That spoiler, it wasn't major. It was just something was, that, like... It related. It could have been worse than it was, is mm -hmm. what I'll say. <laughs> I'll still man about finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you gonna do? Are you guys gonna believe me? He relied on his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't even know who he was aiming for. It sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but... The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? Or would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But... They couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it. Because they 
they weren't created to do that. Ch Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the future foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. He's crying. Hajime is crying. Look at him. Look at the tears in his eyes. I don't understand. I don't understand. What? Who's the tra I, I don't understand who we're supposed to pick. Can I look back at what Chiaki said? No. I'm tearing up now. <laughs> Says Soren. Yeah. Is it him? Is it himself? <laughs> Who's pushing so hard for us to figure it out? Hajime didn't even say anything. It's you, Chiaki. You're the traitor. Please hold on. Ah, you totally guessed right. Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. I'm the traitor. The agent sent by the Future Foundation to hide among you all is me. Damn it. Why? This is, I mean, this nonsense is, why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki, are you being serious right now? Ch Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must <laughs> be joking. Man, what the I'm fuck? Sorry. It's the truth. Yeah, and man, what the fuck? What are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up till now... You've been tricking us? What? We were not tricked! After all, we have been working together all this time! We have been helping each other all this time! Chiaki, being a traitor, <laughs> being a member of that horrifying future foundation, that is obviously a lie! Please, wait! The future foundation isn't what you think it is. Shut the fuck up. We're talking to Chiaki. No, I have nothing more to say. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do is vote. H hold on. We're not satisfied yet. If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. We cannot vote until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. So we're still hanging Kazuichi anyway, right? <laughs> hey, I would prefer to be the traitor. Why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? It's 
weird, isn't it? Reading it's a right now to out yourself. It's definitely strange, right? Or rather, why was I able to do that? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? A favor? Me? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why... The only thing I can do is plead with you. <laughs> I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. I... There's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry, but this is the only way. So please... <laughs> Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... She's not disguised at all! Cause... Chiaki isn't the traitor. Wanna me? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all. Hey, are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I've always been alone. I have no friends. Why aren't you that's hanging for a rope? That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Hachi, She's just been standing there the whole time. <laughs> Being angry. Damn it. Monami and Chiaki's relationship. Proving it here, is that the only way? Had you made stupid faces one of the better out of context quotes. I discovered a notebook, a new Sami logo on it. That's your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? That's right! Since I knew something like this would happen, I made sure to bring it here today! Oh, uh, so sudden? Give me that notebook! What is this? Is this... Monomus? Is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that too. So that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of course, Nagito wouldn't know either. However, it's different for me. You know? It took me this long. I finally understand. Now the truth is I might have already known the moment I found this notebook. It's just, I wanted to turn my eyes from the truth it contained. 
But now I clearly know. I can't help but know. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. Then the one who wrote this is... Someone connected to Monami. Meaning, it's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote it. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? Is it evidence that they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? But how would you know who the traitor is from that? Because there's an entry written in here that only me and one other person would know. A topic we discussed in that entry. The final dead room. He's not even saying anything. He's just so fucked up. There was a specific entry. Hajime tried to go in the final dead room. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. There it is. It's true. I tried to go inside the final dead room. But the only one who knew that. Was Chiaki. That's right. I like the Hajime drawing, me too. It's really good. Chiaki. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean, if Chiaki is the traitor, what was all that time we spent with her? Was that all a lie too? Miss Sonia. Chiaki is. She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. I I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the traitor's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A traitor would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. She... she knew? That is a mistake! That must be a mistake! Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? Of course not! I will not believe it! I refuse to believe Chiaki is a traitor! There is... just no way! I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe, but... But then nobody will be saved! trying to turn off the bomb. Didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me, when I tried to detonate it. <laughs> Unless you know a whole lot about bombs, there's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. I don't... I don't want to believe it, but... I have to move forward. I have to move toward the path she's showing us. Also, the white noise that's big and appears Chucky is Hajime. Is <laughs> when we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't you have to use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to detonate it. Unless you know a whole lot about bombs, mm -hmm. there's no way you know 
it's fake just by looking at it. And that one there was Chiaki. <laughs> Show me the bullets. Okay. Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't Chiaki use the Show me right the away? accounts. Okay. there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. Is that true, Miss Sonia? Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell me when I knew the bomb was a fake was because... If I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I do not want to hear that! Enough already. Please do not say another word. I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. Sonia. And... Just because she knew the bomb was a fake does not mean we should decide she is a traitor! Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chucky is a traitor! If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the ball was fake! Yeah, I ran out of cut! <laughs> Sonia, she's panicking pretty badly. I won't have enough words if I counter her right away. It might be best to wait for Sonia's words. Even if she knew the ball was fake, that does not prove Chucky is the traitor! If that counts as evidence... Damn it! Mm. Even if she knew the bomb was fake... That does not prove Chucky is a traitor! If that counts as evidence... I should be doubted Damn too! It. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake! <laughs> I accidentally keep using one. <laughs> I'm an idiot. She knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Chucky is a traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the ball was fake. Advance. Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably told Chiaki that it was fake beforehand. If so, you could not 
Sonia's saying is all over the place, but she should know. I also wish it wasn't true. I'm hoping that Chiaki says just kidding with her usual tone of voice. But that? It's just my selfish desire. Chiaki isn't wishing for that. There was someone other than me and Monami. Show me the swords. Pope Speak Academy file? Well, I said so earlier, mm -hmm. No, that wouldn't be it. I don't know. He knows everything about Fuck. this island. Monokuma's account. Yeah. Monokuma probably told Chiaki that it was fake beforehand. If so, you can let me and Chiaki were working together. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Damn it. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chiaki is a traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the ball was fake. Knowing it was a fake isn't what matters is who. What matters is that she... There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that ball was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this. Monokuma probably told Chiaki that it was fake beforehand. You're right. Monokuma probably knew the bomb was a fake. But Monokuma shouldn't have told anyone either. Chiaki? It's just, even if Sonya is the traitor, is it really okay to vote for her? Chiaki is literally, just she's literally admitting to, to it. In Nagito's luck, right? That's not it. Are you telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? Hey, I'm talking no about my son that way. <laughs> I'm telling you that's not it. We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. That's huh? right, baby. Doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe in the Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, nobody's going to be saved. Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Because this is different from what happened before. Unlike before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. Are you telling us to believe in you and sacrifice you? That is just too cruel. I'm sorry. Ch Chiaki. Monami. I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this. But still, I want to protect everyone by any means. And I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you were able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? I know. It's voting time, right? Uh, hey, Chiaki. You don't have to worry. Believe in me, and cast your vote. God damn it! Why did it 
could end up like this. B. Wait a second. Unless I'm misremembering, I thought only the mastermind of a plan gets punished. It's not fair. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this. Emptiness. Loneliness. Sadness. Most of all, I'm ashamed of my weakness. But even so, I have to move forward. If we believe in the person who's urging us forward, then we have to start walking. And believe with as much hope as possible what lies ahead. Chiaki. Even so. Even so. There it is. That hurts. This all hurts. <laughs> and this poor thing is like torn up on the underside. Pooped. Let's go ahead and announce the result. The traitor from the Future Foundation and Nagito Komaeda's killer is Chiaki Nanami. Damn it. Are you serious? That was correct. So guys, guess what? It turns out even if I don't say it out loud, they still fucking die. Ouch. The fact that Chiaki was a traitor. The fact that Nagito's crime depended entirely on his luck. Everything was true? Damn it. Plus, that means that bastard managed to pull it off. Yeah, I am hydrating. Everyone decided to say hydrate. I will finish this bottle. Of <gasps> My package was delivered! Oh my god. You're a little late, package. I could have used you three hours ago. Manifest a cursed image? Not now. Wait. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. Damn it. Stupid. We're not celebrating at all. Chucky, let me ask you one more time. Are you really part of the Future Foundation? An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. What? That is... And I cannot believe it, even though I do not want to believe it. There is no choice but to believe, right? My two favorite character got got in the same chapter. I was so fucking upset and I still am. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it hit me really bad too. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. It would have been better if I could have said it sooner. But I couldn't say it no matter what. Because... I can't betray the Future Foundation. Can't betray? Well... Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? Even if you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? Um, it's the same for me. Due to the nature of my existence, I will never be able to betray the Future Foundation. What the heck? But in the end, you did something similar. What you did is no different than sharing your secret yourself. <laughs> You're right. That's not the time to be laughing. Well? But strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. In fact, I'm somewhat happy. I was able to think I wanted to protect everyone. That's why 
and I feel proud of my actions. Uh, you're still saying things I don't get, but if we ask you anything, you're just not going to answer, right? Like if we ask why you were in the future, future foundation and stuff. I'm sorry. That is. But even if you were a traitor, you never betrayed us. Chiaki, you will always be our friend, even now. We don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologize. Yeah. And so the traitor was revealed, and Chiaki lost. In the end, it all went according to Nagito's plan, huh? Like... About that. Was that really Nagito's goal? Is it really okay to say he was trying to find the killer and eliminate them? If so, wasn't it strange? Strange? So. I mean, we nearly lost, right? And if Chiaki hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. <laughs> You've raised a good point. That's exactly it. Even though Nagito said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Huh? Congratulations! You su successfully stopped Nagito's plan! I mean, Nagito's plan was to reveal the traitor and kill everyone else besides the traitor! Kill everyone else besides the traitor? Are you serious? That was Nagito's goal? Huh? Why would he do something like that? Of all the. to form a plan that only the traitor would survive. Is that bastard really that twisted? Nope. It's okay. Okay. What? Well? I mean, it's not just Nagito's fault. If the circumstances had been different, he probably wouldn't have taken things so far. Ch Chiaki! You really are a kind-hearted person. Mm -hmm. Huh? You think so? Jeez, I wonder where you got your personality from. Perhaps. Maybe our dad and our big brother, don't you think? Hey, come on now. Hey, don't go talking about your family all of a sudden. That's totally ripping off Teru Teru. I can't lose. Then I, I cannot lose to Chiaki. Just like Chiaki and everyone else, even if I know it's a fight I cannot win. I, I must try to retaliate. Retaliate? I will no longer let you do as you please. This stupid... Stop! What are you doing? As they say, we shall die together. She self-destructed? And nothing of value was lost. What is... What's going on? Monokuma, like, died. No, no. I'm not dead. <gasps> oh, a new one fucking came out. Phew. Oh, man, that surprised me. If only I didn't have a spare, I would have died. <laughs> not yet. I'm not done yet. Hey, wait. Seven says no true words have been spoken, referring to what you said. Oh. <laughs> nice. I'm glad someone agrees with me. <laughs> Not yet. Seriously, stop it. If you don't stop right now, it's all going to be destroyed. Of course, I'm doing it so you'll all be destroyed. I will be the one to protect my students. I, won't let you. I will protect them with my life. Oh, Monami, you... Hey, hey. Now then, how many of you are still there? You might as well come out all at once. Ooh, how exciting. Um, how many? Not that much. Just around 10 to the 60th power. Uh, what did you say? Oh, one million, one, ten, one hundred, one thousand, 
10,000, 1 million, 1 billion, 1 trillion, 1 quadrillion. Jump ahead, 10 to the 52nd, 56th, and then the 60th. Oh, thank you for following. I guess. It was an awkward time. Now I'm stuck like this. That's 10 to the 60th power. After all this, you're still joking around. You sure have quite the daring spirit. Except I'm not joking. What are you even saying anymore? Didn't you see that scene? While you're doing this, my clones are continuously and endlessly created. In the Monokuma Manufacturing Facility. That's wrong. What? Those were just stuffed animals. That's right. I checked them with my own hands. They're just plushies. D damn it. You're just bluffing, Monami. Finish them off. Hey, um... Even if it's just a plushie, as long as you give it Monokuma's personality... It becomes a fully developed Monokuma. What did you say? There's no way that's possible. That's not even magic. <laughs> magic, huh? Poo. Poo. Could it be? Have you already obtained that much power? Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. If you bring up magic so suddenly, we're going to be so confused. Unless you mean magic in a technological sense, we won't understand this at all. What's going on? Don't tell me. They're not going to call this magic or something. Hmm. Well, I don't care how you interpret it. In the end, even if Monony risks her life or does whatever, it doesn't matter to my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong. <laughs> There's no value in that life you're risking. So how about this? This overwhelming despair? Does it make you dizzy from excitement? What's this? How many monomies are left to challenge my army of 10 to the 60th? <gasps> you don't have to say anything. I know. Let's see. You just have 10 more left, right? <laughs> I know everything. I am the conqueror of the new world. I won't give up, even if I have no chance of winning. I... It's okay, Monami. Hmm? Well? It's not about giving up, you know. Let's believe in them. Let's believe in everyone. And leave the rest to them. I... But... Right? What the hell is going on? Um, I do not know for certain, but the only thing I can say is... Please listen. Monokuma is an enemy of the Future Foundation. Like... Does that mean there's another organization that's our enemy besides the Future Foundation? This is bad. We're in this situation because we're caught up in a dispute between these two organizations? Damn it. Okay, that's it. Let's just leave that talk for later. Because, 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 because the punishment time's gonna start. Uh, hold on, just a little more, just a little more time. Shing. To wait or not to wait, that is the question. But which will cause more despair? That's the real question. <laughs> if you think about it, you know, right? There's no way I'd wait. But I haven't... Mahajime, regardless, there's nothing else I can say. I'm not allowed to say anything more than I already have. N not that, I... Now then, I prepared a very special punishment! Special bleeding service! Ah, for Monami, too. Huh? Why, even Monami? Hmm. It's just a two-for-one special. I could have killed that thing anytime I wanted since she's not a student. And also, I don't need anybody that will defy me anymore. Uh -huh. uh, also, I remember now. <laughs> I'm an only child. Is... What is that? Hmm. It's okay. 
Even if I'm here, I'd just be a burden anyway. And not just that. I've decided to believe in everyone. You guys, I'm sorry about so many things. I'm sorry for lying to you. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you to the very end. Just one last time, let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. When you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Because you yourself are your biggest supporter. If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. Love, love. Bye, everyone. It's okay. A shining future will always be waiting for you. It's true. It's absolutely true. Because I know. Bye-bye. Please don't forget about your teacher. Let's go. <laughs> Chiaki has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. You too, Monami. Hydrate, thank you. I will hydrate. Monokuma, you suck at Tetris. Until the very end, I couldn't look away from Chiaki's final moments. Without realizing it, I had fallen to my knees. A feeling of powerlessness spread throughout my body. It's over. It just had to end. Before I could ask what I needed to ask. Before I could say what I needed to say. Chiaki vanished before my eyes. I couldn't even tell her thank you. I'd said that, would she have been comforted a little? She was executed as the traitor. Would she have been comforted a little? I don't know. My chest just hurt. I don't believe it! Good gracious, that was such a big surprise! As for Chiaki, she regularly took on the role of point man during the class trials, as did Nagito too. Not only was she the traitor, she was Nagito's killer, too. 
Oh well, don't worry about it. There won't be any more situations where you'll need to rely on them. Wait, does that mean... Now that the annoying rabbit is gone as well, all of the obstacles that have been keeping us stuck on this island are completely gone. Hey. Are you serious? We can really leave this island? I shall now present. Yep, congratulations. With this, I shall announce the end of the killing school trip. For you five who survived up, to, up until now, I shall give you the right to graduate. Ooh. Thank you for all your hard work. Are you really okay with that? What do you mean? There's still two days left. If you were acting like your usual self, you would be setting things up so another killing happens right away. Yeah. You're right. Stop it! What are you saying? What if Mr. Monokuma changes his mind? Mister. Also, you said you five like you were emphasizing that part. Does the number of people matter more than the remaining time? That's why you're saying it's the end already, even though there's still two days left, right? Huh? It matters that there are five people left. <sighs> are you planning to make a volleyball team? You need six people for volleyball. Don't stay quiet. Say something. What's your actual purpose? You're our enemy and an enemy of the Future Foundation, so what's your true identity? Hey, um... If the Future Foundation is the world ender, then I will end the new world that the Future Foundation has created. Huh? Well, you'll just have to look forward to the rest after the countdown ends. <laughs> that timer has almost reached zero. If it reaches zero, everything will end. The Future Foundation's lame plan will be nothing but toilet bubbles. Hey, um... And when that time comes, you'll know everything. You'll see all your questions answered in one go. And then you guys will find out for yourselves just how messed up this new world is. Hey, hey. Huh? A new world? Who goes saying new shit all of a sudden? Yep. Well, just think of the remaining two days until the countdown reaches zero as a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> While you're at it, you should enjoy your life on this tropical island to the fullest. Because once you leave this island, Ching. your hopeless lives back home will be waiting for you. Monokuma's boisterous laughter carried on for what felt like forever. Our questions, our worries, our sadness were simply ignored. The laughter just kept going forever. As for what we did afterwards, honestly, it doesn't matter at all. I returned to my cottage for the time being and fell asleep. Even after I woke up, my will to move my body didn't come back. That's why. I didn't look back on everything that happened up until now. I didn't think about what was going to happen. I just kept praying that nothing else would happen. It burrowed deep into my sheets as if I were trying to hide. In doing so, I was somehow trying to endure the long day. And then, the sun finally set. The day feels abnormally long when you spend it praying that nothing happens. Which reminds me, I haven't heard Monokuma's announcement. I guess that isn't needed anymore. Is everything really going to end? What is everything, anyway? How far, how much is everything? If we leave this island, is everything going to end? There's still so much we don't know. About our school memories, the Future Foundation, Hope's Peak Academy, Monokuma's true purpose. Can we really end this and turn our back on all that? Not just that. If we're really leaving, then where are we going? To Hope's Peak Academy. That was... 
my last night at Jabberwock Island. At a place where my worries didn't even matter. Everything was about to end. I feel like I had a fun dream, somehow. I think it was about my childhood. Because of that, I was able to face the day with a somewhat happier feeling than usual. That's right, it's the last day. According to Monokuma. Suddenly my body shuddered. Right when I opened my eyes, I was gripped by a fear that I had never felt before. Fear that I had been abandoned in this world. Completely, utterly alone. With nobody left on this island. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, Sonia. Like everyone was gone and I couldn't find them anywhere. I suddenly couldn't believe in anything. Like everything in this world was nothing but lies. Hajime screaming. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape. When I left the cottage, I randomly ran into her. Hello there. Uh, Hajime, good timing. Good timing. What do you mean? See? Remember Nagito's video message that we found at the factory? Yeah, when we were dealing with the bomb ruckus. What about it? Well, apparently there was more to that message inside that laptop. Huh? Yep. We weren't able to see it until a day or so had passed. Apparently it was locked by a timer. Hmm. Did he set it up so we wouldn't be able to watch it until after the class trial? Why would he do that? Perhaps. Maybe Nagito planned to leave this as a will. Nagito's will? Where is it right now? Um, we were just planning to meet at the restaurant and watch it together. Got it. The restaurant. Uh? You guys want to see some cool guy shit? <laughs> Tremble with fear, I will die twice. Does everyone's cottage do that? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Mama, what happened to Hanamura Diner? Oh. Shit! <laughs> Do it oh god! <laughs> <laughs> That's where he go. He. I will guide you, fate of the Togami clan. For the record, Nagito's doesn't say anything particularly fun. Hajime is just pondering. Nagito, I can't believe you actually left a will. Fine, then I'll make sure to listen to your last words. <laughs> forgive me, love me, forgive me, love, forgive me. That's depressing as shit. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, start. Sorry guys, don't lose. <laughs> Mr. 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 Ant Squish. I miss Mahiru. No. Oh. Sonia. 
Petko. Justice. Tool, young master, tool, young master, you... Mahir. I want to make amends. Say cheese, smile everyone. Yahoo, please listen to one song. Cool guy shit. <laughs> That's depresso. <laughs> I didn't learn about those until I saw someone post about it on Reddit. I had a pet. <laughs> oh no, Pigamy's dead! <laughs> <laughs> Rip. I am a mind reader. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. Hey, you're late. Is it true? Nagito really left another message? No! What the f <laughs> What? They're said that Piggy Me died. Oh! <laughs> I was like, well, I totally forgot that happened. <laughs> it happened like two seconds ago, but I totally forgot about it. Sorry. <laughs> I had a pet true words of spoken. <laughs> Listen. Right, I had a pet. Kneel before Miss Sonia and thank her. She was the one who found it. I was going for a, a walk with Gundam's hamster, and I found it when I stopped by the factory. He ha she has the hamsters? <laughs> Ah! What a coincidence, you say. Wrong. It is the will of causality guiding you. Oh, hello, Gundam. Why would Miss Sonia be going for a walk with Gundam? I never allowed that. Damn right. So anyway, let's hurry up and play it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I like the what in chat. I wonder who's watching this message. I know you too. Is it the Traitor from the Future Foundation? If so, congratulations. Looks like it ended the way I hoped it would. Crying again. Yeah. <laughs> ended the way he hoped it would. Damn it. Nagito was trying to kill everyone except the Traitor. Damn it. It's just as Monokuma said. Hey, hey. So he really set up the Traitor as the killer. And he even tried to make them survive the trial? But why would he do that? Enough with your useless talk. It appears there's still more. <laughs> <laughs> but if everyone but the traitor is watching this video, then unfortunately, I guess I lost. That outcome is the complete opposite of the hope I believe in. Well, not that it matters for me anymore. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, it doesn't matter for a dropout like me. Let's put this meaningless introduction aside and get down to business. Since I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm going to speak so that both sides will understand. First of all, you might be wondering why I did what I did. Well, I just took action after talking about it for so long. A special prize in the final dead room allowed me to learn a certain truth. It would be troublesome if everyone found out, so I already disposed of that page. But anyway, I was totally surprised. I mean... <laughs> yep. <laughs> very, very cool, Nagito. Mm -hmm. The Future Foundation's traitor must have known that truth all along. So I was able to learn the truth about this world, and resolved to take action immediately. I shouldn't have made fun of Hajime. Deep down, I always wanted to become a protagonist myself. Check the web for details. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry what Nagito, you cut out a bit. <laughs> yeah. But now that I know that truth, as I look back on Monokuma's actions, I'm starting to see what he's planning. By giving us information about the island's mystery and the future foundation, he's raising all your hopes. But only so he can lead you to unimaginable despair. 
Plus, Monokuma's trying to show that despair to someone. Perhaps that someone is. Seriously pissing me off, hell, and I, I can't believe something something good like this is only <laughs> so $102. $102. <laughs> so happy. It's so happy. Bowing emoji. <laughs> Jeez, what a hopeless truth. Who is Monokuma's true identity? How could they come up with a plan like that? <laughs> but that's enough reflecting on the past. Let's talk about the future now. Ors, yeah. <laughs> that emoji indeed. If you want to escape Monokuma's plan, there's a specific place you need to go to. The key to enter that place is that message you found at Nezumi Castle. Normally, you need to follow a bunch of steps to enter that place. But since that message gets rid of those steps, you can think of it as an Easter egg or something. It was probably left by someone other than Monokuma or Monami. But that has nothing to do with me. Uh, you guys still think you're not gonna die or something. Stop it, stop it, stop. Don't stop. They're also laughing at us, that's funny. Thank you. W's in chat. <laughs> Can we get some W's in chat? <laughs> <laughs> I had to hide this until my plan came to an end, but I guess now it's a nice time to announce it, right? So then, I'll announce the password. 11037. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> the password no! is 037. <laughs> What? <laughs> Soren smiling ominously in chat. <laughs> I love Circle's reaction. <laughs> yeah, it's really. Are good. you fucking kidding me, dude? The password's one one zero three seven. Of course it is. Of course it is. What the fucking shit? It could only be 11037. <laughs> My ears are dead. <laughs> See you, seventh. Oh, a hydrate before you go. That is the password that was written in Nezumi Castle. It's playing the song. And it sure is. You have to use that to enter that specific place. That's the only way you can escape Monokuma. I feel like I've been talking forever, but that's all for me. With this, my duty is finished. I, I believe my actions will become the foundation of this world's hope. And if that really happens, praise me. Tell others what I've accomplished. Erect a bronze statue of me. Respect me. Please call me the ultimate hope. This was Nagito's final message. That 11037 number that Nagito said was the password. There's no mistaking it. That's the password to enter that ancient ruin. Hey. You better hurry, I think. Let's go before the countdown reaches zero. You're right, let's go. <coughs> Now's not the time to relax. I need to hurry to the ancient ruin on the second island. His ego just grew from a speck of dust to Mount Everest. <laughs> there is no way I will ever call him the ultimate hope. No, he's the ultimate ho. I can share all the ultimate ho memes with you now. <laughs> 11037. Fuck off! <laughs> Somehow, it is quite nerve-wracking. 
Also, the little text in between with all the jumbled up shit, people say that that's like Nagito's equivalent of looking at the mailboxes. <laughs> yeah. Is it really safe to go inside? What's gonna be in there? You are a boy, right? It's so unreliable to be freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? There's also that countdown. There's no time to stand around. There he is. And he's not a robot. He's real. <laughs> he's real. He's a real boy. Nekamaru, if he real. <laughs> Damn right, it's our last chance to get inside. No one's questioning why everyone's suddenly alive. <laughs> no, they're just like, I. <laughs> and I'm starting to feel nauseous from the thrills, the chills, the kills. If you're gonna let it out, why not do it in the Tupperware I keep with me? What the fuck is wrong with you, Terra Terra? Hey, now's not the time to fuck around. It's going to be all right. You don't have to worry. I will protect my young master. Wait a minute. Does Fuyuhiko have his eye back? <laughs> now then, let's go forward together. Oh, okay. The hell? Don't treat me like a kid. This is your leader's order. Believe that hope lies beyond this point. That is your leader's order. <laughs> oink! 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 What was that? I told her you only understand piggy talk. I said you're so cool in piggy talk. In the name of my family. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Hajime. Hajime, the password, please. Yeah, I know. Wait, what happens if you enter it before you're supposed to? <laughs> 11037. Right? It's gonna be fine. There's no need for you to worry. The only thing beyond this point is a shining future. Now then, let's open the door to the future. One one zero three seven. Ibuki Imposter is a good ship. It's pretty good. Beyond this door, the future is waiting. A sparkling future. Now then, let's move forward. Wow! 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 When can I rest? <laughs> Is this the trial ground? But why am I at a trial ground? It sure looks like a trial ground, but why are y'all talking? <laughs> I'm not used to it. <laughs> Something's wrong? What did I do? No, that's not it. I'm not the weird one. What's really weird is... This world. Oop, yeah, oop. Circle, period. <laughs> that's what that's what Gaia just said in chat. Mm. Oh. I realize what she's referencing now. Stage clear? Chapter 5, Smile at Hope in the Name of Despair, and Surviving Students. 5. Hajime's, Hajime is now alone. <laughs> to be continued. Abandon all hope. Gamer backpack. Gamer backpack. Chapter Zero, Heading to the School Trip. 
We can do this. It would be wrong to say it was swaying from side to side. It was actually shaking rather intensely. The sound is also very annoying. <laughs> Just so you're aware, it's very annoying. The room I was in, it was shaking from side to side. Yes, says Soren, yes, yes, yes! The shaking was quite irregular, just when you thought it was a series of small shakes. It would suddenly shake violently. And every time that happened, I'd have to steady myself with my foot. I couldn't stand up very well, but for me it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect could be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. But I figured I'd get bored of that feeling soon enough. That's what I was expecting. For me, a person who is loved by talent. Detecting regularities among irregularities won't be that difficult. Ah, how boring. Chat screaming about boats. <laughs> Chat is screaming about boats. <laughs> Do you like ships? On the other side of the dark room, I heard a voice. It was clearly directed at me. <laughs> you looked like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. You do like ships, right? Nagoto. <laughs> Nagoto. <laughs> yeah, Nagito. <Homo> Nagito. <laughs> I love them so fucking much, Nagito. Nagito's back, baby. I know he died and he won't go away. <laughs> Nagoto Komodo. Komodo. <laughs> Komodo himself. Ships? Ah, that's right. That's it. So this is a ship. <laughs> you just realized that now? Is it really that funny? Hey, if you want, care to talk a little? The silence was starting to bore me. Instantly, I saw his true character. The over-familiar attitude. The friendly smile. But under that thin skin, I could detect a foul, offensive odor, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. How should I put this? It was a smell exclusive to those who were already finished. Nice to meet you. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Anyway, lucky me. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me, so to share a room with a person like that. Yep, I'm definitely lucky. Knowing the context for this scene makes it really strange. <laughs> lucky. Ah, so that's your talent then. He's getting dragged instantly. <laughs> what a boring talent. A boring talent, huh? Well, that's exactly what it is. But for someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly... That's because I have luck as well. Huh? Even I possess a talent as boring as luck. Possess, huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Hope's Peak Academy too, right? So you're one of us? Oh my god. Uh, but that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? How boring. Uh, sorry, I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversation. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is full of boring people. People who lack talent stick together and oppress those who possess talent. Even though they know they're insignificant, they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors. They are profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. And because of these bastards, this world has, has come to a deadlock. This world has stopped evolving. How boring. While well, the world is shaped by the will of the majority, it makes sense that it bends to those who lack talent. That's why we're in our present situation. 
Perhaps, does that have anything to do with the reason why you're here? I know, the, f the bastards. <laughs> Boring people make no contributions to the world. Not even a speck of dust. I skipped something. And I can't go back, so we'll just have to deal with it. Oh no. <laughs> Damn it. It's okay. It's the same thing. Looks like they had high expectations for you, huh? That's completely different from me. But what are you planning to do? Now that you've ended up like this, there's nothing you can do, right? Listen well. Using people is a talent, too. It is now my turn to use that person, just as they used me in the past. That person? Are you talking about ultimate despair? But how? I mean, they're already. I have it with me. The contribution that person left to me. Even now it rests in my pocket. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm definitely lucky. I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you. Then will I be able to see her again? Will I be able to see the person I hate with every fiber of my being again? And this time... Will I be able to kill her this time? The person I hate so much? Hate? Then explain your hand. Uh, this? <laughs> Chat's laughing. <laughs> the end of that bandage. Is a woman's hand, right? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I can't move it, of course. I mean, it's not my hand after all. But even now, it still hasn't rotted. Hey, maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't that amazing? I've successfully become one with ultimate despair, my sworn enemy. I see. So you salvage the body. You really are a boring person. I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as my enemy, you know? Because she's my sworn enemy. Because I hate her so much. That's why I took her power. And for that, I... Wait, huh? Do I hate her? Huh, that's strange. Huh? Ha 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 Look out the window. We're finally here. You're starting to see it too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? I wonder what's going to happen on that island once we get there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. What's going to happen? I can already predict what will happen. Huh? I already know because I am loved by talent. But no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Hmm. Really? I don't really understand, but... I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, you're boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? A whole lot of huhs this chapter. Yeah. I, I just wanted you to see that. I got some big huhs myself. I'm gonna save, but I wanted you to see that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have been looking forward to that for so, 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 so long. Okay, so what was the text we missed? The text we missed? Um, can I bring that up now? I can. <laughs> so the text we missed that I accidentally clicked through was i know what it is because i've seen this text a lot oh not even a speck of speck of dust that's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be performed uh. goodbye nagidi and mystery dude 
No, come back, Nagito, come back. Nagiti, okay? <laughs> but yeah. Mystery dude. You've met three question marks. <laughs> oh, I sure have. <laughs> I have been looking forward to seeing that scene in person again for so, 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 so long. I'm so happy. I love that scene, you guys. You have no idea. How boring. <laughs> so anyway, that's about it for this time. How are we feeling? I mean, Chiaki, that sucked. <laughs> yeah, it sure did. I, I don't have 700, but I... You want a cursed image? I'll give you a cursed image. I'll give you Kamda. How about that? Soren, fuck boats. Circle, do you love boats? <laughs> I love boats. <laughs> Fuck boats. No! <laughs> Why should I feel good about that? What do you mean? Holy shit, I fucking love boats! <laughs> boats Did Nagito are... really cut off his hand and attach Junko's hand to it? The stump? I mean, that is what's implied. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Junko... Here's Ball Junko. <laughs> Her head is so huge. Circle, he stabbed himself. He did. We Nagito has done such terrible things as stabbed himself several times, impaled himself on a spear, stuck a knife through his hand, inhaled poison, and cut off his hand. <laughs> okay. Are you surprised? I see your point. I think he should do it again. I think he should do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Nagito is a very, very disturbed individual. Why the fuck did he want the the traitor to win? I don't know. How boring. How boring. How boring. <laughs> Man. 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 That whole chapter just fucks me up. I mean, you saw, this whole thing is so, like, torn up on the bottom. Look what I did to it. Oh, my God. I tore a hole in the bottom of this thing. I was so nervous. But my, my stuff got delivered, so I won't have to do that. Oh, hi, Bean! Bean's in here. Man. Yeah, man. Man. Thank you for joining me. Anyone who wants to DM me about Stop the boats it. can, because I'm very excited that we got to the boat. It's been such a wild ride, yeah. Four hours, man. You are not. No. No, Stop you're not it. gonna crawl over on him. Go on down, baby. <laughs> bean? Yeah, she's a bean. God. Boats! Yeah, if you wanna talk to me about boats, hit me up. I am down to talk about boats. I'm about to go scream Eric's ear off. <laughs> That's how excited I am about boats. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna go do that. I gotta pee. We're ending stream here. Love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Y'all are great. 11037. 11037. Son of a fucker. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>